Hey paparazzi, welcome back. So it's going to be Sneak Peeks with Misty and I still think Paparazzi Corporate needs to get a theme song for Miss Misty Kirby for her sneak peeks. Yeah. Hey, so here we go. Wednesday, and time for sneak peeks. I'm telling you what, I'm bundled up in a sweater because it's rainy here at Corporate. What's the weather? I'm telling you what, uh, day glow, lime green, looks good. Um, there's, I've already watched this and I am going to, um, kind of rip this apart a little bit. So, uh, fair warning, I'm going to be doing a lot of pauses. It's not really focusing on the jewelry. I'm going to focus on what Misty Kirby says. So she, it's raining at corporate, la da 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 da. She's, you know, the fake excitement in her, uh, corporate closet. That's what I'm calling it. Coming to you live from Misty's corporate closet. Here we go. I like where you're at. Please tell me somewhere somebody has some beautiful sunshine. I saw some of you post pictures of snow. Like winter is coming. So drop in the comments. Okay, so yes, she is definitely keeping tabs on all of you active consultants. Okay, so she's, she's seeing your posts. I, I swear, all this woman does all day, and this is just my personal opinion, I can't verify it at all, is stalk her consultants and anti-MLMers like me on, on social media all day. Uh, because when I ask questions, they're usually answered in a following sneak peeks or hidden gems. Like, with the, what I call the tug and pull. Yes, I know what the Urban Dictionary says about tug and pull. Okay, uh, I'm not that naive. I'm pretty sure she looked it up and didn't like the definition of tug and pull, but she went on and explained it's a lariat. It's an urban lariat style. It's not a tug and pull, it's a lariat. Ooh ah. So I know she's watching because I put a video out yesterday talking about Empower Me Pink and what is the point of Empower Me Pink and here comes her explanation now. So what kind of weather are you having today at your home? Now guess what? Yesterday we had an amazing announcement. Was it really amazing? Yesterday we had an amazing announcement. Empower Me Pink. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this, you guys. So here's her explanation. All right. Empower Me Pink. We are headed to cities near you. And I'm telling you what, I love Empower Me Pink. It's an opportunity for you to bring people who are interested in the business. and they. So um, it's a networking, motivational uh, event. Uh, it's basically motivational speakers and networking. I, I, I can find so many better ways to spend my money than to spend $35 gas, possible hotel, food, maybe an airline ticket if I live far, far away from one of these cities, but um, I can find better ways to spend my money than to go to a bullshit seminar for three hours and be fed platitudes, inspirational thoughts and quotes, and to network with people that are in the same business I'm in, okay? So, oh, we're all in the same business, but it's not an oversaturated market. Yes, it is. And it's a dying business. And it's dying because people aren't buying the jewelry. The jewelry has been passing through one consultant to another. It very rarely, if ever, goes to an end user. And if it does, that end user only can buy so much before their husband says no more. Okay? Before they have boxes stacked up in their closet and over four or five thousand pieces that are still in the packages that they've never worn because they got addicted to buying this five dollar shit. But you know, let's let's keep talking about empower me fleas and see what else she has to say because the fake fake excitement is not palatable. They can learn more at a night when everything feels oh. about, feels just warm and fuzzy and camaraderie and you learn so warm and fuzzy camaraderie. That's what you're paying $35 for. Warm fuzzies and camaraderie. 
There's no actual real training. You get to see what the new spring line is and what the spring color palette is. Ooh, ah. But you know what? You can see that for free after the event because I'm pretty sure your upline elites are going to post it to their team pages like they did every year. So much about the product and you'll learn so much about the business. What are you going to learn about the product that we haven't already learned? It's not lead and nickel free. Um, it's just not. Um, what are we going to say now? It's, it's mixed metal alloys. Are we going to talk about how the company has seen 66% growth in 2020, but since 2020 it's dropped off significantly? Um, are we going to talk about the fact that maybe uh, Premier is going to change your commission structure? What is the big announcement at P Empowering Pink? I don't know. I guess we'll find out. And it is an amazing experience. For many of you, you've joined the business since COVID, right? Since we didn't have Empower Me Pink and it was virtual. We are so... Um, yeah, a lot of people joined since COVID, Misty. And then you had a convention and people died from COVID. And then you had Empowering Pink last year and it was virtual because you were still suffering the fallout from the deaths from COVID, which you've still not yet acknowledged, Misty Kirby. You know, it would be, it would be very nice for your company to acknowledge the people that passed away from attending your bullshit convention in Las Vegas in 2021. And it would be nice of you to acknowledge the fact that you didn't follow the CDC guidelines of masking during that convention. Oh, but wait, that would be admitting fault and apologizing for the deaths that you and your company caused. Hmm, that would be admitting uh, liability. So you're never going to acknowledge that because that would make you liable. And it's disgusting. So excited that we get to rub shoulders with you and we get to be together. Don't rub shoulders with people. That's how d diseases spread. And I work in the pharmaceutical industry and COVID cases are on the rise again. Uh, we're still having 300 plus COVID deaths per day in the United States. And now we have a triple whammy, whammy with pneumonia, flu, and COVID. So during the month of February, I won't be rubbing shoulders with anybody. I'm just saying. Together, guess what? Together is an amazing place to be. So if you've not registered, find a city near. It's only been live for 24 hours and you're already saying, get in there and register. We need you to be here. For you, it is pivotal for your business. You will learn so much. You'll meet people who are doing the same business. Okay. When you say you're going to learn so much, what is it that you're actually going to be learning, Misty Kirby? Um, besides uh, how to inventory load and use your paparazzi premiere, what are you actually learning, Misty Kirby? What are you teaching them? Okay, what? This is you. You'll learn tips and tricks. It is... The tips and tricks are all over the internet. You can find them anywhere, Misty. You can get them on YouTube videos from the Franks Divas. You can go to the Paparazzi Dorks and watch their pointless and stupid and long-ass drone-on videos about how to use your back office. Uh, there are Andrea Hutchinson videos, Team United Fashionista videos, Pop Rock Stars blogs. Um, there are tons of tip and tricks out there. All you have to do is Google search them. So what, in addition to all of that other bullshit that's out there on the internet with all the other teams, what is going to be new that you're going to learn? What business tips are you going to give these people? Um, are you going to tell them about how it's a uh, consultant recuperation or whatever, where they can recoup the taxes that they paid on the jewelry that they bought in the Paparazzi Premier app? Um, I don't think so, okay? Um, so, again, platitudes, bullshit, lies, feeding you things, bite model. This whole Empower Me Pink is going to be bite model specific. And if you don't know what it is, maybe I'll do a video on it. If you guys want, to, want me to do a video on the bite model, just leave a comment down below and I'll do that. It's an amazing time. Empower Me Pink is where it's at. So, find a city near you register and tell your friends bring your friends it's no no and no like a ginormous road trip no you don't need a diet coke and a bag of licorice to go on a ginormous road trip with this i mean right 
uh, something you've always wanted to do, Diet Coke, bag of licorice in a car, let's go. No, those two things combined together for anyone who's had gastric surgery, that's dumping syndrome 101. You wouldn't want to do that because you'd be stopping at every rest stop every chance you got. Now, this is an amazing necklace. I love brass. Obviously, I'm wearing brass with a really bright sweater. Sometimes people are like, I don't understand how to... She loves brass. I should probably get... Um, the bingo card up but i'm going to add a couple things to the bingo card you guys i'm going to add i'm telling you what and really and um other stuff but yeah i think i need to add more to the bingo card oh yeah yeah i'm pause wear brass i honestly think brass and copper can be worn with almost any color really i feel like the brass really pulls in the wooden buttons or not wooden but the like tortoise shell kind of looks wooden Button. Plastic buttons. And then it kind of helps map down the color of this green. But this would also be a beautiful. I wouldn't be caught dead wearing that green, but you know, you do you, boo. Brass necklace by a different neckline. You can see this very cool chain, right? It's almost. You know what that chain looks like? It looks like a, a chain that was on that urban necklace with the blue stone and the pendant for guys. It looks exactly like that chain, but in brass. So we're using the men's jewelry and we're adding a bunch of chains to the bottom of it with this little tassel -y bead and now it's a woman's necklace. <laughs> it's as if it's got a claw and then the next claw locks in. So they interlock all the way down, which I think is super cool. It's really? gonna come to a bead right here and then we've got this long, long chain tassel. The thing I love is this is mixed metal. So this is brass and gold chains, you see that? So, so cool. Look, Home Depot chains. Huh? So fun, even the different sizes of chain. Big old hoops or some cool, copper, cool brass earrings. Knock it out of the park with that one. Uh huh. This is an amazing stretched bracelet. It's a stretch. You see right here, these are crystal beads, right in that. Beat. They're plastic beads. And they are cut to look like crystals, but they're not crystals. They're plastic. Beautiful transparent red. Now this will hit in our gift shop section, which I think. Oh is my gosh! Raise the roof, peeps! Put that silver in the center if you want. You can stack it at the bottom. Obviously, you can do multiples together if you wanted to. Oh yeah, she's uh, definitely saying stack them up, buy multiples, wear twelve of these on your wrist, go all the way up to your elbow. It's possible, peeps. And look, you can take the silver one out and just do the red and silver ones. Or you can buy multiples and then do silver on the top and silver on the bottom and all the red in between. There's so many ways to mix and match these bracelets. Oh. Remove this silver and have two or three of these different bracelets stacked. You just take all the reds and put it together. I love the Seriously. combinations that you can create with those stretch bracelets. Now, this is a gorgeous pink. My mom really? actually loves all shades of pink, but she especially loves baby pink. And I feel like this earring would be so cute. Anybody got a really cute mom? I don't give a shit about your mom. I don't give a shit about, you know, what you're doing to sell this. You're, you're doing this. You're talking about your mom and how your mom likes baby pink. Um, but here's the thing. You are basically saying, this is a gift idea. Look, do you have someone who likes baby pink? These earrings would be perfect for that person on your shopping list. So I'm going to talk about how my mom, and look at the manipulation pause point I got going on here. She is totally like mind melding you guys right now. This is a gift. You need to get this for somebody. This would be perfect for your mother. <laughs> I'm out there. I got a really cute mom. And she loves earrings. Now this but those is are big. Right. Wait, you can see... It's just going to be that open circle, and then the beads are laid on there. The thing I love is this is going to be like a crystal bead right here, right, to face. To it's type. plastic. And then you've almost got that, like, milk-like. More plastic. Look. You've got it into face and around, and then right here in the center. Ooh, more plastic. Like it's got shiver in the center, and then we've encased it with a transparent <laughs> piece on the outside. So the shiver is actually tucked right there in the center, so when the light bounces, it comes through the bead, which I think is so beautiful. Jazz hands and it's dry just heaving. A darker shape, which I think 
We it encased it. So, so cool, right? Is it gorgeous? So lightweight, too. So, so cute. So, so fun. So lightweight. Let's see. I love brass, as we said. God, I'm this so sick of her saying that. This is a cool ring right there. You've got the just the stone, turquoise stone. You can see the brown veining right through there. And then I love that it's just a simple setting. This would even be cool with the earrings that I'm wearing, actually, right now. Right? Wouldn't that be cool together? Kind of the circles pick up. And you've got that. I love when turquoise stone and brass are paired together because I think it looks really rich and expensive. But it's really cheap, These is what you're saying. Amazing post earrings. So post back. <gasps> Look at the combination of gem. And I guarantee you those post back earrings. Sorry, I'm fuzzy, so let me just focus. Those post back earrings, uh, unless you have a decent pair of earring backs, those things are not going to stay in your ears, and they're probably heavier than sin. So you would probably need to get one of those special ear backs that has the plastic disc to give it more support. So when it's on, your ear doesn't go, and and it doesn't you know make your ear curl back, but. I'm, I'm renaming these earrings. I'm calling them the 50 Shades of Grey. So you've got that smoky gray. You've got an opal. You've got a clear. And then right here you've got, it's got a teeny, teeny, tiny bit of a silver overlay to it. Just barely. And then look at that big elongated teardrop. It's as if we've taken two shades. See? 50 Shades of Grey. But she's saying we've taken two shades of gray. It's acrylic paint swirled up with a bunch of crappy rhinestones Ugh. of gray we've mixed them together they've laid down some have separated right so they're too damn big misty they're too damn big and i don't care if you lay them down together they're big they're ugly they're gaudy oh floated to the top some are heavier and have floated to the bottom and you get that combination of colors just in the gradient of that gray a gradient These gray are beautiful on and they look just dynamite in your ears it can be paired with so many accessories if you wanted to have play on those let's say for example you've got some rhinestone clear rhinestone bracelets or a necklace this is a fun way to add oh yeah makes them. sense people or obviously we have a lot of very fifth avenue items in that gray or silver gem right there so beautiful right? no not really now we talk about gift giving season of course see I'll okay what, every time i'll I'll tell you what she is really pushing you guys making those lists and checking them twice so now she's going to talk about do you have co-workers that need a new lanyard do you have a kid who goes to school and their teacher likes lanyards um i guarantee you my sister's probably going to get five or six of those <laughs> And she's a teacher. <laughs> so, Lisa, just heads up. You're probably going to get five or six of these lanyards. My daughter gets ready for school. I think about the teachers she's headed to, and I really appreciate the teachers who love kids, who give them their best every single day, the, the teachers who are really mindful of maybe those students who come from homes that they aren't loved as much or don't get as much attention. I, I hate this. I hate everything about this. Get on with it, Misty. Because, yeah, teachers are amazing and they do a lot. Teachers have 35 kids over 200 days of a year. And sometimes they move up a grade with those kids so they can keep the same kids. So teachers may not have children in their real life, but they have hundreds of kids throughout their lifetime. And they do make an impact. But, um, you know, teachers also have to report things to Child Protective Services and to the state. It's required by law for them to do that. So, hmm, Misty. <sighs> Ugh, I hate you so much. Appreciate that they are often people of trust for those students. So, this is a lanyard that would be an amazing gift, or if you have a job where you're required to wear a lanyard, check out how cool this is. Big hammered heart. Okay. It's a hammered heart. Ooh, ah. But the O-ring that's holding the lanyard claw to the heart is probably not industrial strength, and it's probably not very strong. So if you hang anything heavy on that hook, you better hope to God that O-ring stays together because I can't tell you how many times uh, people have told me that their lanyard hook broke off 
and they lost what was on their lanyard and they were pissed about it so I'm just gonna point out something those lanyards don't hold anything heavier than a plastic sleeve with a key card or something that's about all those things are gonna hold they won't hold anything else of substance and if you sit at a desk and you stand up and it gets stuck between you and the desk because that's happened to me it'll break because that's happened to me too right there I love this the shape is a bit doodly right like it's not perfect and it's not into it's duty not doodle <laughs> It's a brown cord, so it's duty. <laughs> I'm just quoting a wreck it Ralph right now. Duty. Tended to be. We've got this large turquoise stone suspended right there in the center. Brown cording. Ooh. I love that the beads have a little bit of movement and then that large clasp right there at the bottom that lost. I've already ripped clasp this apart. Used for a lanyard style. Isn't that so cool? No, it's, it's so not fakey. Perfect. Last but not least, check out this stone bracelet. So we've got the flower on the top and the bottom. You can see it's crappy paparazzi pink and it's a big ass cuff and it will turn your wrist green if you get sweaty at all or going through menopause. Trust me, I know I'm speaking from experience. The leaf like pattern. <gasps> Ooh, sides. it's got paisleys. I love that those stones lay on a diagonal. I think it's yep. really pretty for the wrist and it's very flattering. Super, super cool, right? Super, super cool. Pink stone ring that would match this well on my so, so fun. There's a cute so ring that would go with it, too. We'll Again, sets. We'll back office later today. I hope you have the most incredible Wednesday ever. She's just so fake. I'm sorry. She is the most fake person on the planet to me, okay? I can't stand her. I can't stand a lot of things that she does, but she is just fake okay so let's see what's left in the gift shop from yesterday uh the flex capacitor is still available uh oh look a ring Ooh, ah. now when i saw this on the facebook page this transformational twinkle it's too big and it looks like a gumball machine ring okay i don't know if it's gold or rose gold but it just looks like something you would get from a prize at Chuck E. Cheese. Uh, this is something like a little kid would want. Oh, I want that princess ring. It looks like a princess ring that you get from Chuck E. Cheese. And then we've got a uh, sizzling shimmer and red rhinestones that get bigger as they go down. It's called red carpet charmer. Really? Okay. And then let's see. Oh, look, the stacky bracelets are still available. They did not sell out. And then look, oh, we're bringing back the rhinestone spell. That is not a new piece, you guys. It's just a new name. So here's another one where they're changing the names of the jewelry. So there were a few pieces that came out yesterday that I put in my wish list. And I'm guessing that some of them have sold out. So Metro Spunk in silver. That is not a new piece. It was called something else. I can't remember and I didn't have time to look it up. But Street Beat in Black is now back in the new releases tab. And that's not a new release either. That's a repeat from years and years ago. So there's the brass choker that Misty was wearing. Uh -uh. So cute. So fun. And then... Ugh. I'm amazed that hasn't sold out. I'm amazezed that didn't sell out. The Home Depot chains did not sell out. So now I'm going to go to necklaces really quick and I am going to look at Urban. And did that blue one sell out finally? It did. Oh look, Canyon Kaleidoscope Tug and Pull. Or as Misty would call it, it's a lariat, Emily. I call it a tug and pull because that's what this company does to a lot of people. They jerk you off and there's no satisfaction for either party. Or maybe there's satisfaction f for uh, paparazzi. They have your money. You get stuck with a bunch of cheap wholesale jewelry that you can't sell. Okay, anything else new? That's not new. I've said that a few times, Venice Vanity. Oh, look, we have a heart full of faith in gold. Ooh. And then, uh, best decision ever. No, it's the worst decision you can ever make, and I'll keep saying that over and over again. Um, the pink orbs with gold separators is available. The orbs. 
And then trust in the Lord and believe. And party procession. Again, not new, just new name. And then here's rings. Lots of pretty rings. Ooh, ah. There's the ring Misty was talking about that would go with that cuff bracelet because it has leaves and flowers on it too. And there's the ring that she just loves. It drives her wild. That's the name of the ring, Drive You Wild. Does it really though? I don't think so. Let's see if those ugly gray things sold out. Nope. The 50 shades of gray or as it says DYI Dazzle. Do it yourself Dazzle. If I had to do it myself, I would not be doing that. Just saying. And then these, I'm sorry, commanding candes candescence, commanding candescence, no. And these have not been popular, but now Constellation Cruise is in blue, so they've been in iridescent, and now they're in blue. Ooh. And then we've got, oh, look, we have actual feathers on these ones. It's called Foul Tempered. <laughs> yes, I am. And I think your feathers, at least you put real ones on this. Why couldn't you do that for the Dreamcatcher? <sighs> anyway. Um, oh, look, they're back front and center. Those are the earrings Misty was wearing. And then, oh, look, the Fashion Fix rejects are still available. And the shopping list for her mom would just love those ambient afterglow pink earrings and again paparazzi it would be nice if you put these barrettes in someone's hair so you can get uh, an idea of how big or how small they are and how much of a waste of money it is so just pointing that out and then twinkling trajectory it's uh it's a bracelet with rhinestones on one side what is what is it moonstone or is it Oh, it's an opalescent piece of plastic. Oh, see, it's even getting cheaper than that. That's so sad. And then we've got cuffs and snappies and a stretch and more stretch. And look, you can stack these two together. I think they put them together like that on purpose to show you you can buy them together and stack them. And then, oh look, this one goes like this too. Uh, yeah. And then we've got, oh, it's in purple, copper, uh, canyon kaleidoscope. I love that it's like in the colors of the chakra too with the lava bead. And then, uh, let's see, olive martini. That, why is that back in the new releases tab? The necklace isn't available. And then we've got that ugly cuff, that god awful ugly cuff. So, anyway, she's, she's encouraging you to go to Empower Me Pink. Um, she's encouraging you to, um, you know, get your customers to buy that free gift with a qualifying order while supplies last. And I'm guessing that supplies are still available. So it's, it's kind of gross. It's kind of wrong. And so, yeah, I was talking directly at you today, Misty Kirby. And, yeah, I purposely flipped you off earlier. I think you deserve it. And if I lived in St. George, Utah, and I saw you driving around in your Mercedes Benz or whatever car you drive these days, I would probably flip you off in, in your car, too. Because uh, I think what you do on a daily basis is disgusting. You are fake. You are not genuine. You are not sincere. And and I, I just count down the days until you're held accountable. So this is all my opinion. And everything I talked about and showed you guys today was public. And I hope you enjoyed it. Smash that like button. Thank you for making it to the end of the video. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, feel free to do that. I talk a lot about paparazzi, but I am thinking about diving into another subject and starting a new playlist. So um, I'm debating that right now. So stay tuned and have a great rest of your day. As Misty would, I hope you have a fabulous Thursday. Bye. <laughs>